Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! The next underground segment starts right here. I'm excited! So excited! I got a lot of Pikmin of each color here, so I should be good. Ooh, new type of Bulborb. The orange Bulborb, and they are some a force to be reckoned with. See, once you get into throwing range of them, they start attacking you. This isn't really a factor in the Wii version, because you can throw Pikmin at a further distance thanks to being able to point anywhere on the screen. But in this one, no. <laughs> Actually, I don't think it has any treasure, so maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta think of survival after all. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I can wipe this guy out. Yeah, it's a dwarf orange bulborb. Extremely weak, just like the other uh, dwarf bulborbs. Uh, I could probably attack it safely from the back. I think it's got something. Oh, no, 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 no. It's done. Go, go, go. Yeah. Woo. That's what I was looking for. No. Let's chuck a couple of these bad boys on here. Wait, do we? No, not good. Okay, <laughs> that should be good. They should be able to take it back relatively safely. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck a couple Pikmin on that one. Yeah, just leave them there. I don't think there's anything of interest up here. Uh, no, I guess not. I'm not sure if there's anything more on this floor, actually. <laughs> la 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 la! Woo! Crystal Clover! And uh, nope, nothing else on this floor. So, that means... Oh, shoot. I just... Oh, I thought I attracted one. I kind of did for a second there, because I heard a... Burp. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> that was quick. Woo! Not really much to see there, since it was a early floor. <laughs> but, eh, not going to complain. It's a... Uh, Sort of, kind of, a tricky cave, so gotta play for survival of all the Pikmin that I can. I wonder how many of each type I got, anyway. Let's just check here for kicks. Oh, wait, they're not all in my party. Where's the... There we go. <laughs> okay, that's how many I got. See, leader free uh, down there at that corner. 20, 28, 23, 19, and 10. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems to be a fiery floor. So I'm gonna whack those suckers. Mm, I don't think there's any danger, so I could probably start chucking Pikmin at this. I didn't chuck Pikmin on these guys before because they're rather tricky to chuck Pikmin onto. Uh, and you know, with the um, Wally Wog at the time, it was it was one of those sorts of no, let's not. Let's not bother with it. <laughs> sort of dealios. Oh, there's two of them here. But yeah, it's pretty easy uh, to kill them if you get Pikmin on them, but it's the thing of you gotta throw Pikmin on them. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to do so, especially when they're in corners like this. There we go. <laughs> I see there's a treasure up there. Um, is this all for the floor, really? Man, this place is gonna go quick if it's like this. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna call them up here, use a C-stick to direct them upwards. I'm only using the reds here because, you know, there's the fire geyser there. But, you know, I don't need them to knock out, knock out the fire geyser or anything like that. It's just a thing of, you know, to get them there in the first place safely. And there we go. I think that will do it. Unless there's gonna be some sort of evil trap, which there very well might be. <laughs> but otherwise, I don't think so. So, this floor looks like it may very well be done. <laughs> Tear stone. I guess it kind of looks like a water droplet a little bit, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we're done. Yep. I heard that <laughs> of the treasure detector. <laughs> that was my interpretation of the treasure detector. Sub level three, go. Uh, this looks like more of a difficult floor. Probably. Maybe. Guess we'll see. Uh, oh, is this the floor that has what I think it has? I sure hope not. Uh, those are withering blowhogs. If they blow on Pikmin, 
they will actually deflower them. Uh, that was actually probably a bad term, <laughs> but yeah, that's what they do. Is they they not only disturb Pikmin's orientation and whatnot, you know, by knocking them over with their air gusts, but they also knock off their leaves. So that's not a very good thing to have. Eh, I should say knocks off the leaves and petals. It doesn't kill them, but it's a thing of that it it destroys productivity. <laughs> Oh, those are all females. Very good. So that means it's relatively safe here to battle. I, I was worried that there was going to be a male uh, sheer grub in there somewhere, but nope, we're good. Hopefully that's all there's here. I really hate if there's going to be like a male somewhere popping in out of nowhere. Uh, they can just blow on those if they want to, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. See, they they're just got deflowered. Dang it. Stop it. Stop it. I want my flowers. There we go. <laughs> I hope there's going to be some, like, nectar or something around this floor so I can get, uh, Pikmin powered back up. Hmm. No, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. Go down, go down, go down. Yeah! And I'm going to punch you, too. Woo! Okay. Needless to say, I'm using the yellows because you can throw them higher. But you can pretty much use any Pikmin color. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I can replenish the white that I lost earlier. Uh, females. Females are harmless, don't worry. They're just scuttling around. Oh, no, 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 we are down. <laughs> yeah! Oh, there's more. How many of these suckers are on this floor anyway? <laughs> They're just shuffling around my Pikmin more than anything, but this floor is like, there's no danger whatsoever, it seems like. Um, well, I know there's treasure, but, uh-oh. Uh oh. Underground? Underground? Yeah, underground, okay. Chances are the whites will be able to carry that back if I leave them to do their thing, and then I guess we'll see what they bring back when they bring it back. But I, I just want to look around this floor to make sure I got everything. Actually, I'll leave Louie here so I can quickly. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta transform some pick picks. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like, what, what, I, I probably am safe enough taking, I mean, uh, tr transforming some yellows, because I know there's some fire traps in there, I mean, this area, from what you've seen already, so I might need them for Alamar Knight's shell. <laughs> uh, so that's what they dug out from underground. That's all the treasure, but I think I'll be okay if I chuck five of these in there. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, um, I'm pretty sure if... Uh, ah, there we go. If you press up and down, you get to change the Pikmin types. Yeah, I should have been doing this before, but I always forget about this because it's not typically practical to switch types of Pikmin. Uh, because, you know, the whole speed aspect of the Pikmin game, so it's, it's, it's like a total afterthought. But yeah, if you want to switch between Flower, Leaf, and Bud Pikmin, just press up and down on the D-pad. It's just like switching Pikmin types, you know, but uh, I should say Pikmin colors, except now you switch it by ranking, I guess you could say. Alright, let's get some more whites. I'm not really concerned about the uh, numbers of yellows and reds, really. Um, I'm more concerned about the blues at this moment in time. Uh, but anyway, this floor appears to be done, so let's move on. I did not use Louie to go to the next floor like I had set up ahead of time, but that's alright. <laughs> Completely forgot about that, but whatever. That floor is complete. Woo! Sub-level floor. Four floor. Floor four. Ooh, electric traps. But yeah, I don't really need all that many yellows in a lot of situations because... I mean, they, may, they might be one of the more useful Pikmin in the game, but at the same time, you don't typically need that many yellows to do tasks. Like, the yellows here. I could probably just, like, chuck... Oh, purples! I could just, like, chuck a couple on them, even just, like, one of them, and it'll eventually take care of the electric trap. So, yeah, it's not really that big of a deal or anything like that. So, yeah, maybe I will transform uh, yellows and just rebreed up the yellows a little bit later, because I'm, I might, keyword might, need reds for a fiery ball blacks in here, if there is going to be one. I'm not sure if there is going to be one, but just in case there is, because I forgot which enemies appear on which floors. Uh, so yeah, it's just a matter of precautions and whatnot. So, oh, Honey Wisp. I could use that. 
And, uh, oh, did I forget about the egg on the other floor? Oh, poopers. Oh, well. <laughs> it's fine, not that big of a deal. It's not, I'm not like we won't find any more, uh, ways to... Ooh, another one. Another violet candy pop. Um... Hmm... Ah... Uh, how many more yellows am I free to spare here? <laughs> sorry, yellows! So sorry. I hope I don't need, uh, yellows for much of anything here. I really, really hope. That, the uh, honey whistle keep disappearing and coming back. Uh, so I'm not worried about not being able to get it. So, yeah. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna... It's gonna pop back into existence soon enough. Or, wait, did it stop appearing? Did it? I don't think it does. It's not so. Oh, there we go. I guess it only reappeared because I was near where it was reappearing to. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it appears when you're in uh, um, the area of other Pikmin. See, I could I could sort Pikmin uh, by, by leaf type here quite easily, in fact. But look how long it takes me to... Uh, get just the leaf Pikmin out of this here because I, I'm, I'm pressing up and down just to make sure That I got all the leaves, you know, just to just to make sure I got them just throwing in, a, in throwing them in a pile here and see all it just takes so so long on uh, On typical Pikmin days that it's just a total afterthought of that move That yeah, I should I really should keep that in mind though uh, for future areas and even these anode beetles here are just a complete joke to take on with just even one yellow Pikmin. I could even take it on with purples because purples flip them um, regardless of where you throw them, just as long as they're in range of them. Like, watch this. Yeah! Holy mother of pearls! An iridescent glint beetle. Oh, it went underground already. Uh, they're like the flint beetles, except they're golden. And they typically have some really good stuff. In this case, it was a crystally thingy thingy. Actually, I should take it back with the here. Take yeah, yeah one. Oh, okay, no, no, just yeah, one one purple's perfect. <laughs> that one purple's got it all. Yeah, yeah, purples are a s spectacular battler in many aspects. But I I typically like to save them unless I really need them. Um, you know, I, I save them, I, I keep them away from danger, excuse me, is what I'm saying here. Crystal King! Is that a reference to Paper Mario? Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, because the purples, you need a hundred of these suckers by a certain point, that I, I typically like to keep these guys saved, just so I don't have to keep grinding um, purples, you know, going back to certain areas that have violet candy pop buds. So, yeah, it's... I would definitely be able to get things done faster if I just kept using purples on things, but, you know, it's it's just a matter of safety and uh, saving time overall, I guess. Because if I lose purples, like I did on the Empress Ball Blocks fight, that's a little bit worrisome. Uh, because I'll... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, well, it's just blues and reds, I guess. Ah, you stupid, stupid frog! Yeah, surprise attacks! Surprise attacks! So yeah, I'm not too worried about that because, as I said, it's just blues and reds, and they're gonna take forever to take this back, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, that one is gonna take forever to take it back if I let it. Uh, yeah, if I let it do it solo. Is there anything else of interest on this floor, or am I good to go? Maybe. There might be something... Nope, doesn't look... Hiccup, excuse me, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Did I miss anything back here? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Maybe there's a way to power up Pikmin that I missed, but I'm pretty sure that was the um, Honey Wisp corner. Yeah, it looks like this is done. Uh, I already knocked that out, of course. You can tell it's it's broke because there's wires. Uh, I mean, it's not sparking. Excuse me, <clears throat> on the wires. Woo! Coin, unknown merits. All right, looks like this floor is indeed complete, which is good because I lost five Pikmin. Ah, 
I could have restarted this floor, but I'm not really concerned about um, anything others, anything other than uh, purples and whites, really. And that wasn't really that big of a loss. It was just a surprise attack, and surprise attacks in this game can be far, far worse than that. Believe me, and you probably will see me have to uh, restart whole areas, I should say restart whole floors because of uh, really cheap old surprise attacks due to the random number generator thing. Oh god. I'd rather not battle that if I don't have to. <laughs> Those are really, really dangerous bulb orbs. Probably the most dangerous kind of bulb orb, actually. Well, well, maybe not. There's... There's something else, but the thing is about those is that they wake up too easily. Uh, I was hoping that there would be something in that corner that's worth getting, but I guess not. Some, Because, oh, yeah, sometimes eggs and stuff like that drop out from the ceiling, and, yeah, you can use them to power up Pikmin if they have nectar or whatnot. Um, is there any more leaves in here? I don't think so. I'm going to have to dig up something underground, or, is, or something going to fall from the ceiling. Probably something's going to fall from the ceiling. Or you have a treasure! Do you have a treasure? Uh, oh! Well, you don't have a treasure, but I'm gonna leave those guys there, and I'm gonna try... Okay, fine, take that back if you want to, I'm not all that worried. Oh, wait, oh, there's the treasure. But anyway, I wanna try and... Oh, shoot, I messed it up again! <laughs> oh, well. I got plenty of sprays, really. Alright, let's get some Pikmin on here to dig it up. I'm gonna throw the blues and yellows on there, preferably, because... Oh! My! God! There's no Pikmin in rain. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's what I mean about the random number generator screwing you. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to restart this floor, if you don't mind. <laughs> if the game's going to be cheap, I'll be cheap too. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I definitely recommend you do because you really don't want to lose Pikmin because it's just a big waste of time. I mean, yeah, it's it's... It's not that bad to lose Pikmin because you can always get Pikmin back, but it's the thing of that it's just a big time burner and it's a pain. <laughs> so yeah, let's just be careful of bomb rocks. Oh, this time. <laughs> I thought they were out of range last time, but I guess I was mistaken. You know, the ones digging up that whatever the heck that thing was on the ground. I see two of them in here, so I'm going to have to be aggressive. Oh, I thought that was going to be another bomb. I nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> Dang bombs. Just ruins a whole floor if that sort of, if that I mean, it ruins a whole run on a floor. If that's, oh my god, if that sort of thing happens. Oh my god, where are they? Oh, no. Well. Restart. Because <laughs> those are purples. From the top once again. <laughs> I'll eventually finish this floor. Oh yes, I will. See, I, I if it was just regular colors of Pikmin, I wouldn't really care all that much. But it was, it was purples both times that I was. Ex I mean, they were exploded. So, yeah. That's. Oh come on. Okay, what I should be doing here is I'm gonna dismiss my Pikmin because this is such a trap-filled room. And I'm gonna take one Pikmin with me, preferably a flower, um, okay, and I'm gonna run around the room <laughs> to see if I can trigger any traps around this place. Actually, I'm gonna hold the Pikmin by holding the A button the whole way through, and I'm gonna see if there is anything more around here, and this is gonna wake it up, isn't it? Yep, it's fine, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna go back to sleep once I get out of its range. Uh, there we go, yep. Uh, okay, maybe I need to have a whole group of Pikmin for stuff to fall from the ceiling. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that's gonna damage the Bulwarb, watch us. <laughs> yeah, you can actually use the bombs to your advantage to an extent. So yeah, if you if you ever see a bomb fall and there's an enemy nearby, try and lead the enemy into it. Oh, and it's still awake. Poopers. <laughs> uh, there's that. There's another spray. Uh, maybe I'll have a shot at multiplying it now. Yeah, I think I got all the traps out of this room, and I'm hoping that that uh, orange bulwark goes back to sleep. I'm pretty sure they do eventually, as long as you stay out of their range. But yeah, 
Um, trying to be very cautious, though, just in case. Oh, oh, come on, that was right above you. Yeah, alright, good. Now, where was the orange? Where was ye ol' orange? Maybe I don't need to bother with the- uh-oh, I see it. It's over there. <laughs> it's straight, it's stuck on the wall. Um, do I need to bother with that, really? Because I might not have to. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where does that path lead around? Ah, uh, I think it's stuck. So maybe I'll be able to do this without bothering with it. Because it just doesn't seem to be going back to sleep. I guess some of them do and some of them don't. It's supposed to be one of the ones that don't. <laughs> this appears to be some sort of maybe artichoke. Maybe, could be, might be. Okay, you're gonna take that back safely without that guy following you? Okay, good. That should be perfectly fine then. Hopefully. Let's just, uh. No, let's try and get the double spray glitch going on here. If it's a glitch, I'm not sure if it's a glitch. Alright, I got that. Good. Yeah, I think it's an artichoke thing. Anxious sprouts. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. Oh, the floor is complete. Okay. So I'm gonna s do this really quick. And, no, oh, come on, get in there, get in there. Get it? There we go, there we go! Sweet! Good thing I was had to restart the floor a bunch of times, huh? <laughs> Alright, we're done here, so let's get... Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna just leave everyone there, it's safer that way. <laughs> and go around... To the exit, we're done. Get out of here, that floor was horrible! <laughs> It sure was interesting. <laughs> Next floor is a go, hopefully. <laughs> hmm. How will it be generated this time? How? Now? Were you expecting me to see a brown cow? Well, I just did. <laughs> hmm. I hear something sleeping. So, let's not go in that direction. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's probably another one of those orange ones, and those things are mean. Very, very mean. Oh, there's a- oh, jeez, there's a bunch of them on this floor. I see at least two right there, and then there is probably another one at the other area that I heard snoring. And how do I deal with something like that? <laughs> well, they seem to be separated enough. That I could probably get him from the back, if there's a way to get him from the back. Uh, I guess we're gonna see once we go around this way. Remember, randomly generated stuff. You just never know how things are going to be. Uh, let's tackle this guy here before it torches Pikmin. And, oh shoot, oh shoot, that's gonna aggravate it. <laughs> Would Pikmin attack it? Whether it does damage or not, it, it seems to aggravate the Dweevil. Mm, there we go. That works. Boop. Good. No bombs, please. No bombs, please. Well, bomb rocks, but you know, they're bombs. Explodey things are a bomb. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hmm. I could probably leave that thing alone while I... Because this is a really quick enemy to defeat. Yeah, there we go. And no, 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 wait, I, I gotta grab these, because they're gonna go through the, uh, fire geyser on the way back. And I didn't, I didn't disable that yet. There we go. That would've probably torched the purples, which would've been very bad. There we go. Will not restart another floor, I refuse. Oh, uh, here's something that transform Pikmin colors if you need to. I think that's hinting that I, uh, that they want me to have more reds if I don't already have reds, maybe? I'm wondering if I should switch. Maybe. I'm not sure. Eh, is there any traps over here? No, I guess not. Just wanted to be sure. Should I switch colors? That is the question. I don't really think it's necessary. But yeah, th these are red candy pop buds, and just like the uh, violet and ivory ones, they'll transform Pikmin into the color that you uh, put them into. But if you throw a pe red Pikmin into it, it won't count towards its limit of five, so... Yeah, it's it, it actually counts for you. <laughs> but it will uh, deflower the red Pikmin if you do chuck them in there, so you probably don't want to do that. Eh, this is not a good situation. 
Maybe I should do that. Oh, no, 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 shoot! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I wanted to attack you this way. <laughs> Ow, pain. I got a little too close when it shook. Yeah, shaking hurts captains. Come and bite, 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 bite. There you go. When it bites, it, it stalls for a little bit. That's why it's, that's why I know it's safe to um, attack it. But how how is this floor layout set up anyway? Because look at look at this look at this setup here. This is one of the worst setups I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, the, it could very well wake both of those at the same time. I could power up the Pikmin with a red spray and uh, go to town on it. But that's no guarantee that it's not going to eat the, the Pikmin. I could power up all the Pikmin and just... Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I gotta do something, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna... Hopefully not wake it up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab that thing down. Let's try it. Let's do our best. Yeah. Stun, 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 stun! Yes! Go, 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 go! Next set, next set! Well... Just one, actually, not a set. Yeah! Woo! And that's why sprays are handy to break apart. Oh well, no, it's carrying it. <laughs> to break apart um, certain situations such as this that are typically going to kill your Pikmin. So yeah, that was awesome. Now let's not lose Pikmin along the way back. Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't have them on that. Uh, no. Well, that's... Please don't blow fire while I put Pikmin on this. Oh, God! Oh, God! What was over there? What was over there? Two whites. Okay, that's not that bad, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Stupid traps! The whites, as I said, aren't nearly as uh, needed as the purples are. You pretty much just need whites for poison traps and to dig stuff out from underground. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal if I lose a couple of whites, but still, you know, it's kind of kind of painful because whites are sort of rare. And look at that Dweevil carrying that bulb orb. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. <laughs> oh, and I should be more careful letting him take that back because bombs could fall down from above while suffer carrying things. Yeah, that's another factor that can happen in this game, but they made it back, so... Chances are there aren't any more traps. Colossal Fossil! Nice rhyme. Uh, this is going to take you forever, isn't it? So let's get more of you guys on there. And actually, isn't the exit on this side? If I recall correctly? Like, wasn't it down... Uh, somewhere around here? Where is the exit to this place? It's... Okay, that way. To the right! My sense of direction stinks! Ooh, that is super shiny. Eternal Emerald Eye. And floor complete. Unless Pikmin get exploded. <laughs> Which is always possible. Dang those bombs. And the Wally Walk too. That was that was something. Alright, I think this is the last floor. Floor number seven. Well, sub-level seven. So, let's do our best in the Ball Black's Kingdom. Dun 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 because I don't think there are any other sorts of dangers around this place. And now, what you want to do is grab your purples, and look over there. See those twinkling things? Those are eyeballs, and that's the boss. Behold, Emperor Bulblax! Yeah! I win! Yeah, this Emperor Bulblax does not have nearly as much HP as the Emperor Bulblax did in the first Pikmin game. As a matter of fact, the Fiery Bulblax have more HP than the Emperor Bulblax in this game. 
My initial report indicates that the giant bow black spat out some sort of object. It looks fascinating, but it's drenched in that creature's internal juices. Disgusting! Oh, don't roll your eyes at me. I'll store it for you. <laughs> okay, so let's get this picked up. I wonder how much Emperor Ball Blacks is worth here. Let's pick it up and carry it to the to the uh, uh, pod. I was gonna say the onion at first, but no, that would be wrong. <laughs> okay, good. I hope. Oh no, this is the floor I I potentially need reds on. Oh, I hope I can get the other treasure back on this floor. Forged Courage! Woo! This material has perplexing properties. I'll try fusing it with the spare spacesuit. Processing complete! Success! He hauled my latest invention, the Scorch Guard! Thanks to the heat-resistant alloy, the suit is now impervious to fire. So yep, you can now walk through fire without taking damage. Nice! And I'd like my whole Pikmin squad here, because I need some reds for the uh, upcoming thing. I really hope I don't need that many reds, because I'm going to regret putting the reds... Uh, I should say, regret losing the reds in various ways through this place, so yeah. Uh, let's leave the let's leave them here and uh, go check on ahead. This is why you want the reds. Like, you see, you could have blues take the thing back through here, but it's difficult to get red safely up on these geysers to begin with. So the idea is more along the lines of you throwing Pikmin up here, like red Pikmin, and then getting them on this statue, and then they carry it back through the geysers. That's the plan. <laughs> but I'm not sure how many Pikmin I'm going to need for this. Hopefully it's not too many. I should say how many red Pikmin I'm going to need for this. So I guess blues can come along. They aren't in danger of drowning or anything like that. So, okay, let's get the reds up here, blast that, yeah, that'll work. Actually, I could use blues here, because now that I think about it, they're going to take it- No, no, shoot, 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 shoot! Don't you dare do that! Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't attack stuff like that when I'm not around! Okay, go over there, okay, that's fine. You're fine over there. Now, oop, nip, 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 oop, yep. it's kind of weird getting up that. Now, let's see here. Now that I cleared this area, I should be able to use just any color of Pikmin to bring this back. Uh, maybe. Uh, ten reds. No big deal whatsoever. Okay, yeah. They're gonna take it this way because I can't go through the water. So I won't even have to bother with the rest of the fire geysers. And we are done with the Ball Blacks Kingdom! I shouldn't say that. There's always a chance of a bomb falling from the ceiling, I suppose. <laughs> but no, I don't think there's gonna be that douchey of a trap randomly generated on uh, a boss floor, so yeah. Um, where is the exit to this? I forgot. Where what? Oh, it was over to that side. Okay. I guess I'll leave you guys here, and I'm just gonna... No, 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 you guys stay. And I'll just run on ahead. Maybe I'll watch that from both sides. Perhaps, maybe. Like, I'll go over here, get myself set up. Then I'll watch these bad boys take it back. Actually, I'll put some whites on there, because whites are faster than other colors. That might speed it up a little bit. Go, 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 And we got it. <laughs> Yay! Technically, you don't need reds for that, because you can destroy the fire geysers with blues. Because you notice that you could, um attack fire geysers with blues, it's just a lot more risky with blues than it is uh, doing it with reds. And, you know, with Pikmin games, you probably don't want to take the risks. You don't have to. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're done! Let's get out of here! Woo! That was the hardest cave yet! <laughs> Let's see our booty! 50% of the debt has been collected! Seven Pikmin lost. Alas. Alas. Well, anyway, let's finish the day. And then I'm gonna end up ending off the part, because it's, it's really, really close to sundown. <laughs> if you remember correctly. Wait, if you remember correctly, if I remember correctly... Uh, maybe I can get some stuff back to the uh, um, onions in time to breed up some more Pikmin. Like, maybe I'll be able to uh, get some more yellows out of this. Whoops, whoops, no, 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 no. And I want 
Want some yellows. Yellows. As fast as you can. <laughs> I'll shoot. Fast as you can. Go, go, go. Fast as you can. Go, go, go. That's my Pikmin song. Wait, didn't I? F Isn't there one over here? Oh, no. Go, go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. I want more. 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 Okay. Yellows. Go. And the blue one is back here. Actually, maybe I should be going for blue. Uh, okay, yeah. Blue, 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 blue. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> As fast as you can! Raid those Pikmin! Go, go, go! <laughs> uh, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Maximize what time I had left here and then- Oh, wait, maybe not! Oh, I might be able to get one more! Might be able- No, no, too, too risky, too risky. <laughs> they might be outside of the base if I don't call them back. Oh, well. Well, that wasn't too shabby. Woo! Couple of restarts, but, uh... It was just in the name of saving the purple Pikmin just to save time later on. So, yeah. I have no regrets. If the game's gonna be cheap, I'll be cheap right back at it. <laughs> Day completed! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see the reports. I'm sure I have a Pikmin profit overall. Um, this is the treasure report. We already know what treasures we got. Uh, but what I mean is the Pikmin profit overall um, that we've bred. Yeah, as you can see, we got a, lot, got a bunch of blues. Lost only one red for the day uh, overall. So yeah, not really that big of a deal uh, based off of what we already got. Olimar, you're my hero! You've erased half our debt! Still, things have become a bit dangerous, so I'm going into hiding. Focus on work and don't slack off. Okay. But for now... I think I'm actually going to slack off. <laughs> I mean, it is heroic to slack off and take a break every once in a while, right? The ship said so. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish off the Awakening Wood. Well, actually, maybe not, because there's one more underground area. The next day will be me finishing off the Awakening Wood. <laughs> Hopefully.